Hey guys, it's Hunter Elliott with RangeHot.com. I'm coming at you this afternoon with the M43 Gilboa. This is an Israeli made semi-automatic AR style rifle chambered in 762 by 39 that runs AK magazines. So anyway, we're getting ready to do some shooting, get on with the review. I'm gonna run a couple rounds through it just so you can see how she does. Wrapping up the Gilboa M43 AR style carbine review. It's actually a really cool rifle. It's got a lot of innovative features on it. A couple things about it I didn't care for. There's a lot I do like about it. So let's try to go through the list about what I liked and what I didn't like. And we'll go from there. So right off the bat, the bolt doesn't lock back to the rear on an empty magazine. Now, after running AK platforms and other type of carbines chambered in 762 by 39 that run the AK mag, I'm starting to get used to it. I understand that that's a limitation probably of the magazine more so than the carbine. This AR style rifle, there is no bolt release like I'm used to seeing on an AR rifle. So I'm just going to show you that it's clear. Obviously, the mag is out. The gas block. Normally, on an AR-15 style carbine, you would see the gas block being underneath the handguard. This one... It's not. It's actually out in front of the handguard, which the bad thing about that is if this gas block starts to warm up and if you're running a really aggressive forward type grip, you got to be mindful of where your hand is because if you get on this, it's going to bite your ass and you're going to know it. So you have to be mindful of the gas block. Now, with that said, when the gas block is underneath the handguard, the handguards have to be a lot larger to accommodate encompassing it where these handguards are really small and that is a great feature because that allows me you know now I've got pretty large hands but even you know you saw Allison shooting and other people with smaller hands you know I can get my whole hand around that thing so if I've got this rifle punched out I can run a really aggressive grip on it that coupled with this muzzle brake that seems to work really well gives me a tremendous amount of control over this rifle during rapid fire so uh there's some good and bad to it now the gas block is held fast by some allen head threaded fasteners it is not pinned but it has provisions to be pinned i'm not exactly sure why unless you could have the opportunity to change out the gas block so you're not committed to this one the last thing i'm going to talk about this rifle that i didn't care for when i pulled it out of the box it did not have sights on it at this price point i would like to see this rifle ship with some kind of sights but I also get the fact that a lot of people are very particular about what kind of iron sights, red dots, optics they're going to run. And so I think maybe the manufacturers hold off on any kind of sights because people are probably going to put on it what they like. It does have a six position collapsible stop. Seems to work well. Easily adjustable. It's held fast. So uh, that works great. It does have the standard kind of little storage compartment in the pistol grip like you're used to seeing. Trigger pull is really nice. Uh, just, I mean, just a cat hair a take up. It breaks really clean at about six pounds consistently. And then uh, got a little bit of over travel, but really and truthfully, damn nice trigger on this rifle for what I would consider a, you know, a production rack grade combat style rifle. Let's move into what's probably my most favorite part about this rifle. If you'll notice here, the magwell, man, it makes snapping in these mags a piece of cake. Now, in my opinion, one of the largest drawbacks to the AK pattern rifles is Locking the mags in is a bit difficult. Look, I'm going to show you rifles clear. So I had a friend of mine, he, he's got the CMMG Mutant, which is a very similar rifle as far as it is AR style and runs the 762 by 39 on the AK mag. But I noticed that if you aren't very deliberate either with that Mutant or the AK, you, you've really got to get way deep in there to get this thing locked in. Now, with this very aggressive magwell, it is infinitely easier to get the mag locked in in a very positive manner where they've incorporated the mag release here in the trigger guard. So, you know, you're running your gun. I just love how easy that snaps in. Boom, 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 you run your gun dry. You can either take your trigger finger here or your middle finger. And it's just, I mean, the mag change on this is as is, is quick as anything you could do with an AR-15, I believe. 
really that's my favorite part about this rifle is the way they've designed the magazine well and the mag release. You'll notice here on the handguard, you've got key mod on both sides as well as the bottom. That will allow you to add any accessories, lights, lasers, what have you to the, to the rifle that you feel like would enhance its ability for home defense, self-defense, you know, take it on the road with you. Um, I think any and all that would work and key mod has become very popular so I don't think you could go wrong with that style. You'll notice here on the above the handguard and the receiver it is a full length Picatinny rail. The pick rail is machined so they actually interlock here where the handguard and the receiver mate. And so that interlocking all that's going to do is just kind of help stabilize the handguards kind of locks everything in place versus if you know it just ended and you butted the rail together. I've got about 350 rounds through it. All was the cheap, steel-cased, wolf, herders, whatever I could find, ammunition. Um, probably about halfway through the review, I did manage to get some CLP on it. With the factory supplied mag and the Magpul P mag, there were no malfunctions. Didn't have any trouble with the gun. It ran great. We did take it out to 100 yards and got some really good groups that I believe. This is, this is a very innovative rifle. I see the reasoning people would want to buy an AR style rifle chambered in 762 by 39 762 by 39 is a great cartridge it really is um especially inside of 300 yards i mean it's very similar to the ballistics you're going to get out of a 3030 a lot of people don't really care for the ak platform me personally um i like it fine i like the ar platform better so with the fact that you can still get surplus ammunition in 762 by 39 and steel case it's a whole lot cheaper to shoot than 556 I totally understand the reasoning behind wanting to have a carbine in that caliber, as well as it's probably one of the most popular rifle calibers on the planet. But if I were going to own something in that caliber, personally, I would I would prefer an AR style rifle. So, you know, I see where this is kind of like, it's very AR stylish. A couple of the shortcomings on some of the other AR rifles, like the mag release and the mag well, has been overcome with this. It also breaks down just like any AR style rifle you're used to. The insides here, the hammer and all, you can see looks familiar. Still all AR style parts. You can see here, the gas key is correctly staked. It is using a 5.56 diameter bolt face and that does keep the rifle a whole lot smaller, lighter and easier to manipulate. But you don't have as much girth as you would on like say an AR-10. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about it. The few things that I did point out, that you know i had a little bit of a problem with i still don't think none of those were deal breakers I, there's going to be an article as always on rainshot.com that's going to have a lot of the specifics as well as the accuracy chart on what rounds i shot through this and how it grew in inches so if you're curious about some of the more details you know just go over the rainshot.com check out the article read it let me know what you think if you've got any questions problems concerns critiques criticisms let me know shoot me an email find me on facebook twitter Instagram, YouTube, the whole nine yards. I love feedback. I get a lot of feedback from the people who watch the videos and read the reviews, good and bad. I appreciate all of that. So anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. All in all, I'm very satisfied with the Gilboa M43 rifle. And I think it's a pretty good choice. If you're looking for something in 762 by 39, you kind of like that AR platform a little bit better, which I do. In my opinion, right now, from what I've shot on the market, this would be the way to go. Okay, guys, take care of yourselves and each other, and I look forward to seeing you on the range.